I needed to find something I could work on 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and always be happy and passionate about it. And I love candy. You know, I wasn't even just focused on chocolate. I, I looked at the entire candy sector and tried to really figure out where's the gap, where's the opportunity to launch a business. Sarah Inline has started a revolution in the candy industry with Sweet Riot. Her New York-based company founded on the mission of creating a more just and celebrated multicultural world for future generations. Beginning with all-natural cocoa products and promoting fair trade with developing countries, Sweet Riot encourages social responsibility and understanding among diverse cultures. Take the time to do the diligence and do the research and figure out, is this really you know, a space and a world I want to go into? And the best way to do that is to talk to as many entrepreneurs as you can and talk to people in the industry that you're looking at and, and get a real sense before you launch of, is this the right opportunity? One of the things I try to focus on with my team is I, I call it never getting stuck in the mud. So we're constant problem solvers. And as the entrepreneur, you just need to be really open to that and know that you know the, the universe around you is kind of moving things forward. And sometimes you're not completely in, in control. I often like to sprint, but the reality is, is this is a marathon and you need to manage your energy, manage your health, manage your happiness, manage all of your relationships, and realize this isn't a six-month gig. It may not be an 18-month gig. This is a marathon that you're running, and you need to just keep up your pace and take care of yourself along the way. I think being a woman is a great advantage. Women tend to be really intuitive. Um, they look at the big picture. And those two things alone are so critical for entrepreneurship. You're the one at the head of the boat, you know, making sure you can navigate the rough waters. You're also the one making the hiring decisions at the end of the day. And a lot of hiring decisions and team-related decisions are based on intuition. So to have those two things um, as strengths is a really amazing thing. And secondly, there are so many programs and resources for women entrepreneurs, and I've benefited from them. I've always believed in companies that can change the world. I believe a lot in um, creating the culture and the soul of the organization. And I always think people are not really joining companies, they're joining teams and they're joining cultures. And so when you're the leader, you get to create a culture around you that is perfect for you. And that's, that's an amazing experience. You can never do that when you join a company. You can only do that when you create the company.